Hi all. Today we are going to discuss about procurement life cycle. Means procure to pay life cycle. In P to P life cycle have four modules are involved. One is inventory purchase order module accounts payable account payables and general ledger module first the p2p cycle will start from inventory module in inventory module we will create a items in in the inventory module now navigate to inventory module responsibility inventory vision operations here yeah. click on items master items here choose the organization i am selecting master organization as a vision operations now enter the item details item name ja enter nrit keyboard same the description is the item description you can enter any meaningful value here after entering item details uh, you have to enable check boxes here whether it is a inventory item are stockable or transactable and also you need to select the check boxes here by manually instead of going for manually i am going to use the template to enable these check boxes click on copy from then enter finished goods apply click on apply done now see here inventory tab these check boxes are automatically enabled if you go to purchasing tab you can see purchased and purchasable tab uh, check boxes automatically enabled once this is done next step you need to enter the item price here there is a list price here enter the price of the item it's 
फिफ्टीन डॉलर्स ओके द नेक्स्ट स्टेप यू नीड टू गो टू प्लानिंग मेथड्स हियर विच सोर्स यू आर लुकिंग फॉर दिस आइटम मीन्स आई एम लुकिंग द आइटम्स फ्रॉम द सप्लायर then you need to select the source as a supplier and make or buy as a buy you are purchasing you are buying the product means buying the item from the suppliers that's why you need to select as a buy now save the record now item has been created successfully then we will verify the item details through backend in inventory module what are the tables what is the table name mtl system items underscore b where segment 1 equal to the item now see now the item has been successfully created for the organization of 204 204 belongs to vision operations now we are going to assign this item to multiple organizations here tools organization assignment and then select any another uh, organizations and selecting another three organizations for this and then click on save button now verify these details in the back end in the table base table now you can see how many records are showing there are four records are to, uh, showing because this item has been associated with the four organizations okay now item creation has been created successfully then the next module which module we need to go to purchasing module purchase order module here navigate to purchase vision operations here first step in purchase module first we will create the requisition then we will go for creating a rfq then quotation and then purchase order and then we will create a receipt in the purchase order order module first we have to go for creating a requisition requisition requisitions here enter the requisition description here you can see there are two types of requisitions you can create one is internal requisition second one is the purchase requisition internal requisition means if you are looking the goods from internal organizations means whenever you create a requisition it will the goods are transferred within the company the second one is the purchasing requisition 
purchasing requisition when we create a purchase requisition it will be whenever the goods required from outside of the company that means from the supplier now we are going to create a requisition as a purchase requisition because we are looking the items from the supplier next this is the header section we have uh, there is only one value we have entered and uh, line section lines requisition line section enter the item details which items Now, NRID keyboard, which was created in the step one, we have created. How much quantity are you looking? I am entering 100 quantity. When the items required, when are you planning to receive the items? The need by date, you need to enter a future date. And then go to distributions see distribution it's fine no lines click on save button Now record has been saved and the requisition number has been generated successfully. What is the requisition number? 14305. If you go to distributions level, the generation account details will be populated. This is the code combination. We will check the requisition details from the database. requisition there are three tables which are used to store requisition information what are the tables uh, PO requisition headers requisition headers all where segment segment one equal to what is the requisition number 14305? Yeah. PO requisition lines all. In this table, lines details will be stored. Requisition header ID is the JAI. Distribution level details will be stored into PO requisition distribution detail PO requisition distributions all where requisition line id yeah. see how many levels uh, the data got stored one is header level lines level and distributions level now now go and now approve the requisition click on approve button and then click on Okay.
now the requisition you can verify from requisition summary form Now you can see what is the status of the requisition approved status because of that you are unable to query the requisition from the requisitions form that's why you need to go to requisition summary form and then query the requisition detail. The next step is the creating a RFQ. Click on RFQ. Now enter the details means what is the type of RFQ here there are three types of RFQs are there big catalog and standard I am going to select standard RFQ description close date and then enter line level details what is meant by rfq requesting for a quotation requesting quotation from the supplier that's why what is the item we are looking from the supplier that nrit keyboard You can see the target price as a 15 which we have defined at the first step at the inventory level. Now click on currencies, USD and terms 30, freight terms, it's cash and delivery and FOB, it's a destination organization and then close, price breaks. Now quantity, how much quantity you are looking? I am looking 100 quantity for my organization there you need to mention specify the quantity as a hundred then discount how much discount will you give I am giving five percentage if I give five percentage then what is the price of uh, item is 14.25 now click on save done Now, you have entered the details at header level and lines level. You are requesting the item from supplier. Which supplier you, you want to request? These details will be entered at the supplier level. Means, click on supplier button, then enter the supplier details. Supplier choose any supplier which you would like to have. I am selecting the supplier name as Abbott Laboratories, the site name as a, this one, for HQ. Now verify the RFQ details in the database. Now. RFQ RFQ data will be stored into the PO headers all table where segment 1 equal to what is the RFQ number 308 308 and Type, type, lookup code, code equal to RFQ. Same. 
next lines details select pivot line sal table pivot line sal where pivot header id equal to this is the one next These are two levels the data has been stored and also there is another table the vendor details will be stored. What is the table? The table name is PO RFQ vendors. There PO header ID equal to this one. Here we have requested the item from only one supplier. If you have requested the item from multiple suppliers, in this table you will see the multiple records. I am going to enter another supplier name. See, I am selecting another supplier, Advantage Carp. Here, Advantage US. Save. Okay. Now verify in, into the table. You can see two records. We have requested the items from the two suppliers. Okay. Now you understand right RFQ. Now we'll go to create a quotation. We are requesting the quotations from the supplier. Now Yeah. Instead of going to quotation form, we will create quotations through RFQ window itself. For read the RFQ, what is the RFQ we have created? 308. Here, tools copy document means we are copying everything from RFQ to quotation. Here, action entire RFQ creating a quotation from the RFQ header lines and shipment details. Here, what is the type of RFQ? Uh, sorry, what is the type of quotation? Here, I am choosing the standard quotation. What is the supplier? Here it will be displayed two suppliers. At the time of creating RFQ, we have requested the details from two suppliers. That is the reason we can see the two supplier details here. I am selecting first supplier, Abbott Laboratories. Click on OK. Yeah. Now the quotation has been created successfully. What is the quotation number? 50. Two. Click on OK. OK. This is the quotation form. OK. And there is one more table called here. Shipment level data will be stored into PO lines locations all 
where PO line ID equal to this is the work. Next, the quotations, quotation details also stored into the same tables. We'll check that also. Here, lookup type code instead of you need to pass RFQ, you will enter quotation. What is the quotation number 502? We have created the quotation number as a 502. Then verify the details. Now you can see the details has been created. Now the lines details. Select PO line locations. Where PO line ID. These are the three levels the data will be stored. Now here one point we have missed. Here. Now query the quotation. What is the quotation number 502? Now check the quotations level currency details as a USD and terms 13 net freight term what we have entered cash and delivery this is the destination you will save next price breaks see 100 quantity price is the 14.25 now click now click on approve we are approving the quotation all orders reason we are providing best quality click on ok Now, after the quotation has been created successfully, then we need to analysis, quote analysis has been done. Click on quote analysis. What is the RFQ number? 308. Uh, now enter find you will see the quotation number here and approve entire quotation same step quality okay same Now, quotation has been successfully done. Next step, 
once the quotation has been completed that means the supplier whatever the supplier details we know then we will go for creating a purchase order now now create a purchase order while creating purchase order you need to provide the supplier details at quotation in from which supplier we have got received the quotation about laboratories select the same supplier which you have received the quotation based on the supplier quotation only we are going to create a purchase orders here in lines level enter the item details what is the item NRIT keyboard see how much quantity are you looking how much quantity it's 100 quantity okay now verify currency details what is the currency details USD and terms right as cash and delivery ups and uh, fob put on board then next shipment details enter shipment details from which or uh, to which organization you want to ship the items here this is the quantity 100 I have entered and then click on here need by date is the mandatory when are you looking the items on 3rd June then click on distributions yeah then. now and in lines level also we need to provide the need by date when the items are required from required to, okay. now click on save button yeah now you will see shipment details and distributions here you will see the code combination details means the charge account details in the distributions level in shipment level you will see the ship to organization details in lines level you will see the item details in header level is the supplier details okay now once the requisition has been created successfully then approve the requisition click on approve button and submit for approval and then click on print click on ok Now the requisition has been, uh, sorry, uh, purchase order, PO has been successfully approved. Now verify the purchase order details from backend. Purchase order. What are the tables? Same tables. Means. Uh, PO headers all where segment one equal to six zero double three and the lines table line level information 
will be stored into PO lines all table. What is the join? PO header ID is the join. The shipment level data will be stored into PO line locations all where PO line ID. Distribution level data will be stored into PO distributions all. Line location ID equal to sorry. It's yeah. Line location ID equal to two six double four nine five. Yeah. Once the PO has been created and approved successfully, then we will generate a receipt. Receiving and click on receipts here select the organization is an operations what is the purchase order number six zero double three What is the purchase order? Six zero double three. From which supplier we have received the details about laboratories? Supplier site is the Corp. Receiving location is the Akla. Just click on find. Then you will see the details then how much quantity you are generating received for 100 quantity we have requested and uh, destination type is the inventory what is the item is the nrit keyword description and then sub inventory which location the item should be delivered And once these details entered, the receipt date should be. open periods okay we'll go and one sec
Fusion Operations and Period Find Period Open This one The receipt is not generated due to the period is not in open status. We have entered the receipt date as if 30th May. However, the period is not in open status. Due to that reason, we are getting an error message. Now I am opening the May month period. This will take some time because this is the OF page. period is May 20 go no period okay. Open. go yeah Better we can create old dated receipt. We will try later. Means here, just what is the requisite purchase order number 6033? What is the supplier site corp find and then receipt date? Right, find what is the receipt date? I will enter. Inventory select any of the organizations, sub inventory organization. Now, click on save. Now, the receipt has been generated successfully. Okay, the receipt. 
receipt number we have to see. Okay, now what are the receipt tables? Receiving tables. Select store from RCV shipment headers where order by receipt num the ESC because we have closed the window we will check what is the receipt number it has been created shipment number number mm -hmm. one zero four five where shipment number equal to one zero four five this is the end yeah this is the shipment number which has been generated yes next the lines details will be stored into rcb shipment lines table lines where shipment header id shipment what is the shipment header id it is that 200 yeah. okay next there is another table where it will be transaction details will be stored what is the table rcb transactions where shipment header id the join is the shipment header id copy this okay here the day transaction is not created yet that's the reason it's not showing next module is the account payables module in accounts payable go navigate to payables vision operations responsibility in account payable what we will do we will create a invoice and we will make the payment against to the invoice. First, go to invoices and click on entry and then click on invoices. Here, enter the PO details. What is the PO details? 6033.
बिकॉज इफ एंट पीओ डीटेल देन द सप्लायर अंड सप्लाय डीटेल आलो आटोमेटिकली विल बी डिफाटेड फ्रम द पीओ नंबर ओके ना एंटर इन वाइस डेट एम सेलेक्टिंग द डेट यू एंटर्ड इज नॉट ए ओपन पीरियड अगेन वी नीड टू गो एंड ओपन द एपी पीरियड्स accounting control payables periods now verify our may period open yeah the period got opened now go to invoice entry form now enter what is the pivo details we have 6033 which will default supplier details invoice date as a 30th may now you don't see that error message because the periods we have opened now this is the nrit invoice but is the amount invoice amount i am making it. Fifteen hundred. The invoice amount I have entered as a fifteen hundreds. Now here, header level is fine. Now go to lines level. in lines level enter the line amount okay here okay pivo line details shipment details pivo distribution details now enter the invoice distribution details now and then click on save it's got save now the invoice has been created successfully then verify the data into back end tables now go to account tables and invoice verify select star from ap invoices so invoices all where invoice num equal to yeah see the invoice header details will be stored into ap invoices or the lines details will be stored into ap invoice lines all table where invoice id invoice id equal to now the distribution details will be stored into ap invoice distributions all where invoice id and invoice line number line number equal to what is the invoice line number 1 now the invoice has been created successfully once the invoice got created we will validate that invoice by clicking on action button and select validate check box and then click on okay here you will see the status of the invoice is validated successfully 
now see now what we will do we will account the invoice create accounting and then select final post here accounted status also will get changed to no to yes accounting has been successfully created now see the accounted status showing as a yes once the invoice got successfully accounted that means the data will be flown to the sub ledger module as well as general ledger module okay what are the tables XLA sub ledger module SLA tables. What are those? XLA events where event ID equal to here in distribution table. See in distribution table, you will see the accounting event id you can write directly instead of searching for two things what is that accounting event id what is the number this is the event see and then what are the base tables? Subledger base tables are XLA AE headers where event ID equal to this one. Okay. Invoice validated and accounted. Okay. What is the another table? XLA AE lines where ae header id is the join this is the header table from header table to line table join. okay here you will see the line details and next the data will be stored into another table called XLA AE XLA distribution links this is the distribution table where AE sorry AE header ID equal to this one and also you can mention AE line number AE I am mentioning both the line numbers instead of verifying one, two, both lines I want to see. Okay, this is the distribution links and and there is a link between general ledger and SLA tables because what we have selected we have selected final posting that means journal has been created successfully and also journals are posted also means the data is in at available in GL modules tables as well what is the join for that is GL import references this is the table what is the link means what is the 
link between sla tables and this table is gl sl link id and what is here gl sl link id is there there gl sl link id equal to this one see here you will see the details general batch id je header id je line number you can join gl tables select star from gl j e headers h e where j e header id equal to this is the table see this is the table and gl j e lines where j e header id equal to this is the details you understand right once the invoice got accounted successfully that means we have selected final post then it will be inserted the data into sla level tables along with the general ledgers modules tables once the invoice has been completed validated and accounted now we will go and make the payment against to this invoice you can go and uh, uh, in payment form or else you can click on actions button and from here also you can select the pay payment pay in full then it will open the payment form here you will have types what are the types of payments manual payment quick payment and refund now by default we have selected a quick payment we have selected the data from the invoice that's why the supplier details has been copied from the invoice now what is the payment date payment date also i am making today's date and you need to specify the bank account number details okay netting account and payment method check payment process profile you can check format now now click on save okay this is warning message okay go to payment form and then
select about payment date 30th and the bank account What is the invoice number? N R I T invoice. The payment has been created successfully now uh, because what is the document number is the minus one. Payment tables, invoice payment tables. What are the payment tables? AP invoice payments or table. This is the link between invoice table to check payment table. What is main base table of payments is AP checks all table. Checks all where check now equal to the document number. Okay, but uh, through invoice table also we can get the join from AP invoice payments all table. You will see the check ID. You can select check ID also. The check number is minus one. See what is the status of the payment currently? It is in unprocessed 
status. If you want to account the payment, click on actions button, then choose the create accounting, select a final post, click on OK. The same way we are accounting the payment as well. Then the data will be flow to SLA module and also GL module. Click on OK. Now the payment has been successfully accounted. Now the accounting status has been changed to processed. Now you will see the same data into accounting tables as well. What is the JAI? How to JAI? In AP invoice payments all table, you will see the accounting event ID. You can write, you can. This is AP, this is invoice level. Now, this one here. In AP invoice payments all, you can see, so. Accounting event ID. What is the accounting event ID? This is the value. The same, all tables are same, SLA tables, you can copy this, paste, uh, event ID is this one, 3319723, event ID is this one, and event ID this one, here AE header ID, what is the AE header ID, 4944. 979 AE lines details then AE header ID here and GL import references what is the JIR SL link ID what is the link ID SLA 685103 okay and then what is the JIR of GLs here you will see the JE header ID GL JE headers where JE header ID equal to this one GL JE lines where JE line ID equal to sorry G, J E header id equal to this one this is the complete end to end flow from the inventory to general ledger module and also we will verify the general details. See here, general header level details. What is the journal name has been created? This is the journal name. We will verify those details. What is the journal details? We will navigate to general ledger module, journal vision operations module, and then click on journals, sorry, journals, and then click on enter. What is the journal name which has been created from payments is this one. Fine. This is the journal details, journal debit amount 1500, credit 1500 and here. If you want to review journals, then click on review journals. Okay, this is the journal details. One will one line will be created on credit side, one line will be created for debit amount. This is the payment journals. If you want to see uh, invoice journals also, what is the invoice level we have? this one yeah what is the journal name 
purchase invoice may 20 purchase invoice usd just navigate to journals general ledger module journals click on enter then it will ask journal name just verify it find click on find the invoice amount means the here also there are two lines has been created one for pedal one for credit one for debit amount i think you got all the details thanks a lot thank you please subscribe our channel thank you